Hello, welcome back to another Wyatt's World Extra. I should really get some sort of intro for these videos, I just haven't had the time to really put that together yet. Today we are going to take a break from the video games and go back to the tier list. I did a Call of Duty tier list like a week or two ago, it did very well and I just haven't gone back to doing them yet because I've been, you know, grinding gold guns and playing Skyrim in recent videos which I've been having a ton of fun with. But one tier list that I've wanted to do for a while on this channel is ranking every Nickelodeon TV show. Now I say every like it's actually going to be everyone, obviously this won't include everyone, but I went through multiple lists and I found one that had the most shows that I knew and that I watched growing up. Both cartoon and real life. Wasn't a big Disney Channel guy at all, actually I hardly ever watched it. I watched a lot of Cartoon Network, but mainly Nickelodeon. I took the liberty of taking all of the little kid shows and moving them to the bottom because I never watched them and it's kind of hard to rate them considering they are little kid shows. But I think we still have a pretty good list left, so uh, head over to gfield.com, use code Wyatt's World, save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products, and let's hop into the list. Okay, so like I said, at the bottom of the list, I did take all the little kid shows and separate them. I'll also put the trash shows with them, but they're not in the list, so I don't have to do it while I'm moving. Uh, above the trash little kid shows, we've got the shows that are last resort shows, meaning they're not my favorite. I don't really like them, but if I must watch them, I guess I can tough it out for an episode or two. Above that, we've got the shows that were fine. Above that, we've got the shows that were good. And above that, we've got the shows that were just, you know, elite. So starting off this list, we've got one of my favorite shows growing up, Rugrats. Okay, this was a good show. I won't say it was an elite show because because I don't have the same interest in it now as I did when I was a kid. Like, there's shows out there that you guys will see I still love as much today as I did as a kid. That I grew out of it, but I'll always recognize Rugrats as being one of the better shows growing up. Moving on, we've got Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. This is one that I could probably fight with someone over, I'm not sure. For some reason, I feel like everybody thinks that this show was just the greatest fucking thing ever. I thought it was just fine. Okay, like, it was not nearly as bad as some of the shows you guys are gonna see. The characters were all very likable, but it was just like the art of it. You know how everybody kind of had that claymation look? Didn't click with me like it did with some, but it was okay. Moving on, we've got Spongebob. If you try and tell me that that show is not elite, I will find you and I will hurt you. Spongebob is absolutely elite. I don't know how people can really argue that. I've met a couple people who don't care for Spongebob. They think it's stupid and annoying. Fuck yourself, honestly. One of the most consistent, funniest TV shows I've ever watched growing up, and I still love the episodes to this day that I watched when I was a kid. All right, moving on, we've got The Fairly Odd Parents. This was a good show. Wasn't elite, it wasn't just fine. It was definitely better than most. But there were certain episodes that I just didn't get behind in it. There were certain characters that were like, eh. I'll give it respect where it's due. Moving on, we've got My Life as a Teenage Robot. This was towards the end of my Nickelodeon day, but I did watch this show. It was a last resort. I didn't absolutely hate it, but I never ever went, oh God, my life as a teenage robot is on and flipped it on. Moving on, we've got Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. This show was absolutely fantastic and it still is to this day. I don't know where I can watch it anymore, but that was one of my favorite shows ever too. The main character of this show's name was Ned and he was an idiot and he was always failing in school just like me. So I got with that show and I thought it was funny. Crazy janitor and evil science teacher. It was just, it was a classic. All right, up next we've got Unfabulous. Wow, I forgot about this show. Emma something. She's a singer in it. Honestly, it wasn't terrible. Wasn't my favorite show, but like it was fine. Like I did not mind it. Up next, we've got Drake and Josh. I, that's just, it's a no-brainer. I watched the show on Hulu still. I just did last night. Moving on, we've got Zoe 101. I don't know if I want to give my true opinion on this show or not because you guys are going to look at me as an absolute pussy if I do. Don't even fucking lie. That show was fantastic. It was, it was elite. That show was so good. Every guy loved that show, man. I mean, it's not really that it was a girl show if you watched it. Just the name is very girly. There was guys in it. Moving on, we've got Rugrats All Grown Up. Uh, this was between Fine and Last Resort. There was a few episodes I really liked. I remember the trading card one was like a favorite of mine. And there were a few other ones, but more times than none, I actually thought this show was kind of ass. Could have been worse, however. Moving on, we've got The Amanda Show. This show was awesome, but it was weird and it was really short. It's like 15 minute episodes, I think. And it was just like bizarre. They would do random shit on it every single time. You never knew what was gonna happen. And it was like a live audience show too. So it wasn't like a sitcom. This is where Drake and Josh and a bunch of other people were actually like, you know, born. Uh, too bad Amanda's an absolute meth head now, or at least the last time I saw she was. But the show at the time was actually pretty funny. Moving on, we've got As Told by Ginger. First trash show. I fucking hate 
hated that show. A very, very poorly redone version of Hey Arnold. I think it had some of the same voice actors too. I don't know. I just never cared for that show. One bit. Moving on, we've got Danny Phantom, another one that I'll go to war with. This show was not that good. People thought it was fucking amazing. Me loving Halloween so much, you'd think I would love that show, but I didn't. Like, it was just fine. There's actually a conspiracy that uh, Timmy Turner is Danny Phantom. I don't know, it was really dark. It was like his parents died, so his grandparents were like his imaginary fucking lucid friends, and I don't even know. Either way, the show was very mid. Moving on, we've got Barnyard. Okay, I look at this as just the one show, not Cowman, but... Barnyard, the actual show? Fucking horrible, too. They should have just left it at the movie. The movie Barnyard was really good, and then, they, yeah, they turned it into this Nickelodeon show, and it was just like, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I was just too old, but I didn't find it funny or amusing. I just thought it was really cheesy and stupid. Moving on, we've got Lazy Town. Okay, this was a kid's show, but I wanted to talk about this specifically. This show was not only trash, it was terrifying. That show was so scary. Like, no, like, look at the characters, dude. This show was legitimately fucking scary. Scary. Moving on, we've got Chalk Zone. Okay, I have very, very, very little memory of this. I know what it's about. That kid had a piece of chalk that he could like literally draw and open doors and shit with, and he had a little friend that was blue and had like a mask on. Ah, uh, the show was ass. Next up, we've got the Naked Brothers Band. This was a show that I don't think lasted too long. Kind of like Big Time Rush, which I don't see on here. You know, these guys, Big Time Rush. Uh, uh, uh. You know the song? That show, I'm not gonna lie, that show was actually fine. Borderline good. It was pretty funny. I'll, I'll actually say it was good. Big Time Rush was a good show. I didn't care. I don't like musicals, so that's the kind of thing that stirred me off about it, but it was funny. However, Naked Brothers Band, it was just like, uh, It's really, it's a tweener, kind of like All Grown Up was. I'm gonna say it was a last resort. Moving on, we got Cat Dog, and now that I'm seeing this, we're also missing a very, very important show. Rocco's Modern Life, if anybody knows what that was. This show was borderline elite. Cat Dog was good as well. Not as good as Rocco, but it was still a very good show. The dog was dumb, the cat was smart, the cat was mean, the dog was nice. They were connected, they had problems to solve, it was classic. Moving on, we've got Mighty Bee Ass. Don't remember a lot about it other than the fact that I hated every aspect about it. I think she's like a Girl Scout or something. Moving on, we've got the Wild Thornberries. Fine. I don't know, man, I didn't click with it. It was like a kid's version of Family Guy. That's actually a very good comparison because they had a talking monkey named Darwin in it, if I remember right. Just a family that traveled and ran into problems everywhere they went like usual. Moving on, we've got Ah Real Monsters. Good show. Didn't get to see a ton of it, but I always thought the episodes were awesome and I thought the artwork of the show was really cool. Some kids claim this show is scary. I don't claim it's scary. Moving on, we've got Rocket Power. Ooh. The Tony Hawk episode is forever one of my favorite cartoon episodes in my life. Rocket Power wasn't quite elite. Oh, God, was it though? Yeah, it was. That show was elite. Who am I kidding? I wanted to stick to five because there's one show I can see right now that is guaranteed to be elite, but I've got to give it to Rocket Power. This show was fucking awesome, man. Those kids were elite at everything they did. They could play baseball, hockey, football, soccer, snowboard, skateboard. Probably every kid's favorite show. Moving on, we've got the Angry Beavers. It was a good show. It was a lot like Cat Dog, except they weren't, you know, conjoined at the hip. A lot of these Nickelodeon shows, as you get older, you kind of realize we're just the same fucking thing. But it was still a good show. Moving on, we've got All That, which, if I'm not mistaken, it was just like the Amanda show. I think I liked it. I don't remember a whole lot of it. Man, I wish they had, like, Legends of the Hidden Temple and Guts and stuff on here. Those shows were amazing. Moving on, we got Cat Scratch. No, not my favorite thing. It was fine. It wasn't even fine. It was a last resort. It was fine for the episode. All right, up next we've got, uh, we'll go to Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold was good. I thought it was good, man. I thought it was entertaining. I thought the characters were all good and funny. The grandpa was insane. Harold was just an idiot. Arnold was smart and innocent, but was always getting in trouble. Very, very good cartoon for the kids. And last but not least, we've got iCarly. Elite, one of the best shows ever. How do you not love this show? I still watch it on Netflix, man. Definitely funnier as an adult than it was as a kid, and it was still great as a kid, but there was a ton of adult humor in this. Too bad Dan Schneider had to be a creep and drive everybody away from it. And that is it for my Nickelodeon tier list. All right, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, you already know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe, turn that bell on. I do my best to post as often as I can. If there's any other tier list you guys would like to see me do, let me know in the comments below. The next video we hop into will probably be Skyrim because Call of Duty still has three days to upload, but if I see a good tier list that has a lot of thumbs up on it, I may sneak that in there as well. With all that stuff being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Monday. Try to enjoy the rest of your week, and as always, I will see you guys the next time I upload.